This is Mark Cavanaugh for Cavi Coaches, and today I'm going to coach you up on adding topics to the classwork page in Google Classroom. Today we are going to create topics in the classwork page. So we're going to click on a class, and you can see that there's things posted in the stream. Check out my videos on editing the stream and how to use the stream. So we're going to go ahead and click on the classwork tab this time. And you can see I have some topics that are already created here. So in order to create another topic, we simply just click on create. And at the very bottom, you have topics, you select topic. Now you can see that I have a number in front of these topics. Google organizes numbers based on the first digit. So I put a zero in front of one, two, three. So that way it puts one, two, three instead of one, 10, 11, 12, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a topic for 2D kinematics, click add, and you can see that it posts it at the top of the list. I can simply click on it and drag it to the bottom and that'll organize it numerically. The way I like to organize the classwork pages, I like to organize it based on the current topic. So what I'll do is I'll take a finished topic that is at the top and I click on it and you just simply drag and move it to the bottom. That way the students can easily find the work in the classwork page that we're currently working on. So I can create all of my topics at the beginning of the year, and the students won't see any of the topics unless there's something published, as you can see there on the screen. So as long as there's nothing published, you don't have to worry about the topics being created. So if I want the students to be able to find something later in the year, I organize by topic. So that way the students just need to simply they can click on the topic. And when they click on the topic, you can see it only shows the second law and forces that, and obviously there's no lessons posted yet. So if they want to see all topics, they just click back on all topics. The one type of topic that I like to add is a class materials page. And in this class materials page is something that you use if you have an electronic textbook that you can post a link to um, other class materials that you've used all throughout the year. I do um, Google forms that I have them fill out throughout the year. So um, for absences. And I like to put this all the way down at the bottom. And when they, so it's not in the way, so the students can come and click on class materials whenever they need to find something that I tell them is in Google Classroom that's organized. Tell them where it is in the page. So, congratulations, you created your first topic. In if you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel, Cavi Coaches, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Cavi Coaches.